and girls, good morning. You're on the set of the Holly Jolly Kitchen. My name is Miss Susie, and I'm the producer of this fa la 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 fantastic cooking show. It's my job to get the cameras rolling and to get our audience all warmed up. We're going to be recording this show in just a few minutes, but before we do, take a look at the screen and play this game with me. About you but I thought that was a lot of fun now I don't I'm not sure but I had a little bit of trouble here in some of those I hope you guys did better than me but around this kitchen we are really excited so before we jump in and see what's going on with Holly and Jolly in the kitchen let's count it down if you will let's start from three are you ready three two one action <laughs> Merry almost Christmas, everyone. I am your host, Holly. And I am your super cool host, Jolly Joseph Jingleheimer Schmidt. Yeah. Thank you for joining us today on our next episode of Jolly Holly Kitchen. No, Holly Jolly Kitchen. Holly Jolly Kitchen. And super cool host. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. I think I would call you super plaid host. Uh, yeah, I know. And doesn't the plaid look super cool? Uh, I mean, I, yeah, it's a lot of different plaids. That's okay. Oh, does your hat light up like my shirt did last week? My hat doesn't light up. Uh, does your tie? Ooh, that would be cool. Does your tie? My tie doesn't light up. Uh, I like the, I like the tie. That's my favorite part. Thank you. That's I a lot of plaid. But this is all while I'm why I'm so cool. Mm. Also. Okay. I feel like it's 12 degrees in here. It's, yeah. It That's goes. another reason why I'm super cool. So. Well, we are the Holly Jolly Kitchen. Which I'm is putting on my mittens. You're putting on your oven. oven mitts right now? I'm cold. Speaking of cool, look at my cool lashes on my glasses. Those are pretty cool. They're, they're green. Huh? I know, and they're sparkly. Are they real? Yeah. Do they light up? No. Mm. I don't have anything that light up? I don't have anything that lights up today. My personality lights up. Oh, yeah, that it yeah. does. Yeah, it does. That it does. Yeah, it does. So, I will say though, cool, nah, maybe cool, definitely festive. You look very festive this morning. 
Well, I well, guess you that's did okay. Until you put on the other mitts, and now you look a little ridiculous. That's all right. I'll that's take better. I'll take festive. Now I like you're festive. festive. Uh, guess what? Um, let's see. Guess what? Let me think. Let me think. I'm not going to give you that much. You're going to start saying Jolly Gingerbreads. That's what you're going to start saying. I'm not going to say. Oh. I'm not going to say what you just said. Jolly Gingerbreads. What I would like to tell you is that we're wow. one week closer to Christmas. <gasps> I know. Uh-huh. That's so exciting. Isn't that exciting? Yep. And yep. you know what? What? Tomorrow, mm -hmm. we'll be one day closer than we are today. Woo! Every day, we are getting closer to Christmas. I can hardly contain my excitement. I know. You're wild. It's a little scary. I love Christmas. You do? Yes. And I can't say it enough. Try. Let me hear you say it. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. I love, Christmas. Okay, I've had I love Thanksgiving. That's no Christmas. I love Christmas. There you go, Christmas. I love Who Christmas. else here loves Christmas? Me. Me. Everybody me. should be raising their I love their Christmas. Hand. There are so many things that I love about Christmas time. Like candy corn. Candy corn's not at Christmas. Jack-o'-lanterns. Where? Do you know? Fireworks. Nope. Mm -mm. Way off. Way off. Christmas trees. Christmas trees. Ornaments. Ornaments. Mm -hmm. Christmas cookie decorations. Uh, you know what I like? Christmas music. Ooh, Christmas music is really good. Yes. Yeah. I start listening you know what to it song? in June. You know what song I think they should invent? It, Jolly Gingerbread! <laughs> <laughs> that would be such a funny song. Did you just snort? <laughs> I did. Uh, when I get giggled. But you're kind of a snorting elf, aren't you? <laughs> I am a snorting elf. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, All right. So, speaking of Christmas time. Yes. What do you think about this, Jolly? Yes. What if we take a little poll? Yeah. Kind of like we did last week? Exactly, like we did last week with the yeah. cookies. Who likes the cookies and, cookies and yeah. pickles? No, it's not. Where are you getting these random words? Funnel cakes. Oh, I like Who funnel likes cakes. Who funnel cakes? I like funnel cakes. I think that is all year round funnel cakes should happen. Funnel cakes, you know, they have the word fun in them. I know. Fun. And cakes. it's a compound word, fun, and then also the word now. Which mm. I don't know exactly what it means, no. but I think it means something like powdered sugar. Ooh, maybe it does. That's it's good... fun powdered sugar. May I had one of fun those. Fun powdered sugar. I had one of those this weekend. Holy ginger snaps. You should patent that. Why do you say things like holy ginger snaps? Because it's fun. It's fun. -la -la -la. Holy ginger snaps. We went and cut down a Christmas tree. What? Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. And... And they had funnel cakes there. Oh, well, so I that's what made me think of really, cakes. really, really love funnel cakes. But I think we do the poll now. What's our poll gonna be? Okay, so here's what you can do: raise your hand if you agree. That was no, easy. Not yet. That's oh. what we're doing with whatever different things that we say. Okay. Okay. So, who here would say that their favorite part of Christmas is opening gifts? It's good. That's a good part That's of Christmas. Good, good, Absolutely. There. I like that one. That's super fun. And it's also, you know what's really fun I love doing? I love giving gifts, the type of gifts that I know that people will just love. That yes. makes me happy. Like giving gifts and seeing them happy and excited about what they got. Yes. I like they that open too. it up and they're yeah. very thankful. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's cool. really that's really fun. So who would say that their favorite part about Christmas is spending time with their family and friends? Oh. I have to raise my hand on that too. Yeah, me too. I like it. I, I like, like both of these things yeah, so far. I really love cool. spending time with family that I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. It's the best. It's the best. I agree. Okay, so who would say that they love decorating their Christmas tree? I have to raise my hand again. I like that too. Yeah, maybe both hands. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Decorating the tree is always one of my favorite traditions or time of year. Do we like sometimes like you ever do popcorn strings? For, I've done that before. Yeah, that's fun. I like doing that. But you, you have to use case. a needle and not like do. I poke my fingers. You poke your fingers? You know what we put on our tree a lot of times? What? Tinsel? A pickle. A, what? A pickle? An ornament that looks like a pickle. Okay, well, there's an ornament that looks like a pickle. That's still weird, but... And I then mean, you have to find it. What? Somebody hides it in the tree and then you find it. It's when a you, game. Why don't you do like an elf? Well, no, or, it's, it's, it's a thing. But we so lost our pickle weird. ornament, so... My son Maxwell had to go find a new ornament for oh, us. Now. So what are you hiding? Broccoli. <laughs> yeah, it's a Christmas broccoli. It's a Christmas it's like broccoli. A, it's like a tree inside of a tree. <laughs> That's yeah. hard to find. It was very yeah. hard to find. It was oh, did you already find it? Yes. Well, oh. we had a whole game that night when oh. we decorated the tree. Max hit it. We all hit it. Oh. Whoever found kinda, it got to hide it. I kind of think that's fun. I kind of want to steal fun. that idea. It was fun. Okay. We had Christmas music on in the background. And then find the broccoli yeah. tree and find it the tr in, in the tree. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to do we, that. We have one more poll question. Oh, we do have another one. That's yes. Right. Yeah, we get four. Favorite part about Christmas. Mm -hmm. Who thinks their favorite part about Christmas is the food? Um, I don't. I don't know. if Food's my favorite part. You don't. You don't know about food. No. I like the food. I mean, I like Christmas cookies. Yeah. I like making gingerbread houses. Yes. <gasps> Jolly gingerbread houses. <laughs> Jolly gingerbread. Houses. Do you do you eat the gingerbread house after you make it? No. Do you like gingerbread cookies? Yeah. Yeah, I do. me too. I do like gingerbread cookies. Me too. I like the Christmas. I like cookies, making so. gingerbread cookies, but they somehow turn into like, like the blob, like a blob, not a man. Yeah. I'm not good at that. It's hard to keep them into a man shape. Yeah. You need like one of those. And you should cutters. not put the cookie cutter in the oven with it because <laughs> that'll melt. Or the microwave. Or the microwave. Because that'll Trial start a fire. and error. So, <laughs> as you can see, here in the Holly Jolly kitchen. Where we are again. Yes. Yes. In mm -hmm. the cold kitchen. We like just about everything about yeah, Christmas. Yeah, pretty much everything. Uh huh. Yeah, I can't think of it. We especially love making tasty, yummy Christmas treats. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So you may remember from last week, but our friends Graham and Reese are serving up all the fun as they take some requests, mm -hmm. challenges, and even general questions from our viewers at home. I'm sure the viewers have cooked up something really mm -hmm. special for Graham and Reese today. Yes. So. Let's check in and see what's up in the test kitchen. Ooh, I can't wait. All right. I'm excited. Let's go. Reese, tell me you know what time it is. It's Christmas time! <laughs> yeah! It's also time to get cooking. So, what's on the menu today? Hit us with that drum roll. Oh! Today's test kitchen challenge <gasps> is called Taste the Cake. Hold up. Taste the Cake? That doesn't sound like a recipe. That's because it's not a recipe. Get yourself ready for some good news. Okay. Instead of cooking various kinds of cakes today, our viewers have actually sent in their own personal cake creations for us to taste. Ta-da! Um, well, this is gonna be interesting. I don't really know if I'm vibing with the idea of trying something from someone else's kitchen. Oh, come on, Graham. Where's your Christmas spirit? I'm all about people sending in their recipe suggestions, but their cakes? I mean, how clean are those cooks? Like, what did they use to wash their hands? Did they use soap and water? Did they use just water? Reese, what if they used olive juice? Olive juice? Who even does that? Graham, I'm... Sure, people are careful when it comes to cleanliness in the kitchen. Well, do you think they're careful enough to clean their countertops before they start? What if they haven't cleaned their oven in years? What if there are gross little creepy crawlers all around their countertops and in their mixing bowls? What if I bite into a spider? A spider, Reese, Reese, a spider. Dude, chill. I'm sure they clean their hands and their kitchens. Now. Forget all of that craziness, and let's see what kind of cake this viewer sent in. Is that a red velvet cake? You got it, Graham. Apparently, this viewer used an extra amount of red food coloring to make this cake the color of Santa's suit. But did they use a hairnet? Not just one hairnet. One hairnet is never enough. They need to make sure they use two hairnets. I mean, I'm just trying to make sure there's no hair in there. Oh. Come on, Graham. What are you so afraid of? I'm sure they keep their hair far away from the cake. Here, let's just take a bite. Uh-uh. No way. Oh, no. Nope. Come on. Mm -mm. Come on, Graham. No. Not let's going to. Shoot. The train's pulling into the station. No! You're really gonna be like that. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> This is strong deadly option. Well, I'll just take your word for it. Um, okay, uh, let's get this over with and see what kind of cake this next viewer sent in. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's a, it, it's a fruit cake. Fruit cake? Man, this stuff always makes an appearance at Christmas. Yeah, I can't even look at it. I don't think I've even met anyone who actually eats this stuff, but, that's about to change, right? No, nope, no, nope, not for me, I don't think so. I mean, people re-gift this stuff for a reason. It lasts for like 
ever. I mean, who even knows how long this thing's been around? For all we know, this could have been around before cars were invented. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh. You know, I don't even really know what's in fruitcake. <sighs> I mean, it kind of looks like some cherries. Oh. Pineapple. Or maybe, maybe pickles. Are pickles a fruit? See, now that is a real life problem for me. That fruit may have actually been fruit at one point or another, but that fruit is so old, I think it's older than fossilized dinosaur bones. And don't get me started with what could be growing on it. Oh, come on, man. We owe it to our viewers. What are you so afraid of? I'm terrified of foods when one, I don't have a clue how they're prepared, and two, I don't know what could be in them. I mean, come on, Reese, pickles. You do what you want, Reese, but I'm done. Oh, ginger snap. Well, those two can really get themselves into some Christmas craziness from time to time, can't they? They sure can, but remember, when Graham and Reese find themselves in the middle of a Christmas catastrophe, hmm? on this show, they can hit the panic button. Yes, you, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. They hit it, it lights up because they did. We, they hit, uh, it. Yeah, they hit it, it lit up because we are the host here. We can step in and help them out. Always got to help them out. That's right. So, if you've ever been in the kitchen, you've probably seen a recipe book just like this one. Mm -hmm. yep. This is every chef's best friend. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That one is a very old chef's best friend. It's, it's still, <laughs> you're still in it's, the same one. It's That's got all cool. kinds of uh, cool stuff in here. Mm -hmm. There's probably recipes on how to make Christmas food. Yeah, maybe uh -huh. gingerbreads. G maybe ginger <laughs> jolly gingerbreads. <laughs> maybe just regular gingerbreads. So you know what? That or fruit cake. Fruit cake. I wonder if fruit cakes. You should look. But jolly, when we follow a recipe exactly, you can get an awesome end result that you can share with your friends, your family, or in our case, the viewers uh, like you and they can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But just like we saw with Graham and Reese, not every recipe will turn out to be something that you want to eat. Oh, that is very true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Graham wasn't really into the idea of trying new things, no, was he? No, he was really having a, like a panic attack. I know, he, but he was like, he was just really afraid of things yeah. that he didn't know. He kept freaking out about everything. Yeah, all the unknown things that could happen, yeah. he, was, he was really freaking out. Fortunately for them, we like to run our kitchen on God's recipe book. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, this is not the normal recipe book that shows you how to make cookies or cakes or candies or pies or funnel cakes or anything like that. This recipe book helps us to know how to make the right choices inside and outside of the kitchen. Well, that's right, and who remembers what we call God's recipe book? I've got it right here. You can just shout it out. Everybody okay, can shout it out. The Bible! Yes, that is right. That's right. It is called the Bible. Mm -hmm. And you know, Jolly, watching Graham struggle with fear reminds me of a story in the Bible. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, what story from the Bible are you thinking about, Holly? Well, let me tell you, Mr. Jolly. Okay. This story is a woman who was, she was pretty afraid. Mm. Yeah. But God showed her that no matter what is going on, he can do anything. That's right. Yeah, so here it is. Why don't we check it out? Yeah, check, check, check it out. There's a story in the Bible where we see that God can do anything. It's about a young girl who was living in the town of Galilee. Her name was Mary, and she was engaged to a man named Joseph, but they weren't married yet. One day, while Mary was alone, God sent an angel named Gabriel to give her a message. You see, God had something amazing that he wanted to do in Mary's life. The angel said, Greetings, the Lord is with you. You are very special to him. But Mary was very confused about what the angel said. She wondered, what does this mean? Gabriel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. Then he told her how she would become pregnant and give birth to a son, and that she would name him Jesus. Jesus would be great and be called the Son of the Most High. Mary wondered how she could have a baby when she wasn't even married, but Gabriel explained it all to her. Gabriel said, 
the Holy Spirit will come to you, and the power of the Most High God will cover you. He went on to tell her that the baby would be holy and be called the Son of God. That wasn't all, though. There was even more good news. Gabriel also told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth was pregnant. Even though Elizabeth was very old, she was going to have a son too, because God can do anything. Mary trusted God and said, I am the servant of the Lord. Let this happen to me as you say. Then, just like that, the angel went away. Mary got up and went quickly to a town close by to see Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary was there, she ran to meet her and said, Mary, God has blessed you more than any other woman, and he has blessed the baby to which you will give birth. When I heard your voice, the baby inside me jumped with joy. You are blessed because you believed that what the Lord said would really happen. It was true. Mary believed God could do anything. Mary began to sing a song praising and thanking God for what he had done. She could have been afraid or worried when the angel gave her this news, but she knew that everything would be just fine because God can do anything. Well, Jolly, as we just saw from that story, Mary had a lot of things she could have been afraid of. Boy, you are not kidding. I am not kidding. Right? Mm -hmm. As if seeing an angel wouldn't have been terrifying enough, yeah. Mary might have worried that Joseph may not love her anymore, I know. too. Oh, yeah. And hello, let's not even mention the fear that she may have felt about being a mom to God's son. Yeah. God's son. Yeah, that terrifying. Huh. But, Jolly, we need to remember the most important thing about the whole story that despite any fear that she may have felt, when Mary got the surprising news about Jesus, she understood that God could do anything. That's a great point, Holly. Thank you. Do you know what else? Mm, do you think maybe she said, Jolly Gingerbread? No. Oh, then I don't know what else. Tell me. God had big miracles in yeah. store for Mary and yeah. even bigger miracles for the baby that she was going to give birth to. That is right. Who remembers what that baby's name was? I do. No, it's not Charlie. That, that's not what they said. No. Oh. They all said Jesus. Everybody said Jesus. Yeah, That's did. right. It's Jesus. <laughs> and guess what else? Yeah, what? Okay. Not only is God going to give Mary a baby, or gave Mary a baby, but the baby named Jesus went on to be the savior of the whole world. Wait! What? That's the same Jesus? <laughs> yeah, that's the same Jesus. Same Jesus. Yeah, mine. Boom. It's amazing. It is amazing. Although, that is a good story. <laughs> I like that story. It's a great from, story. Yeah. That's right. Although Mary is probably afraid sometimes, she chose to believe that God could do anything. And that is our need to know for this week. It is. Yeah. So let's say our need to know together. Okay. And we'll do it. We'll sit down. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. <sighs> sit down. My goodness. You put on all this plaid and you think you run everything. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. God can. That's not it. God can. I was wrong. You should do it. I, I should do you it. You did good. I was wrong. That's the second part. God can. We got to point up when we say God can. That's right. God can. Yep. And then we do two thumbs up. Do anything. And we say do anything. So yeah. God can do anything. Maybe you should be in charge. Maybe I should be. <laughs> do one more time. All together. You ready? Okay. God can. God can. Do anything. Do anything. Okay. I, you got it. I've I got think it. you've got it. I think I've got it now. You know, Holly, the next time I find myself afraid of how things might turn out, yeah. I'm going to remember that God can do anything. That's exactly what you should do. Thank and you. you know what, Jolly? All this talk about being afraid of how things may turn out made me think of the perfect game to play. Woo! I know our audience loves a good game, so right. who wants to play? All right. All right. For those of you live in our studio audience this morning, let's get ready to play a game that involves trust. Mm -hmm. And for our viewers at home, you can watch Jolly and I play the game in just a second. And if you want to play too, have your parents watch the game and they can do it with you.
Okay, so are you ready to play this game? Why am I blindfolded? I'm going to explain to you why oh, we're blindfolded. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad I didn't hit your face here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. The producers put a plate of uh, treats, right, snacks. We don't are, know what they are. Are you sure that they're treats? I don't know. I don't know what they are. Underneath on a plate, underneath the, I think it's a like a cloth. Do you feel oh, it? Yep. Okay. I see so it. So you see it. You're not I, supposed to be able to see I, I, it. I mean, I'd be a bit. You better not be cheating, my friend. I'm not cheating. That is not very jolly of you. No. And then I would say, jolly gingerbread. <laughs> anyway, okay, here we go. So if, or what we're going to do is you're going to, when I say go, okay. You just said it. No, for the game. Okay. You're going to take off the cloth, and then we have to try, we have to taste the streets. Okay, hopefully, I don't know what they are. Hopefully they're not pickles, because I don't like pickles. And the, whoever finishes the food on their plate first wins. Okay, do we have to say what we're eating? Uh, why or not? That would be fun. We eating? could try what we're eating. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So while we're eating, and, and, and we'll have to go at the same time, because we have to see, you know. Do I use my hands? No, can you I, cannot use your hands. I can't use my hands. No, we only can, like, bend down and then, and then try it with our mouth. Okay. Or like, we can't what if I remember. fall over? Well, then that will be funny for everybody. Okay. <laughs> Not for me. Okay. All right. So here we go. Are you ready? I'm already down here. No, stop. Oh. Okay. Are you ready? Don't forget. Yeah. You have to take off. Don't take this off slowly so it doesn't knock anything off. What? The, the cloth I told you that's covering the plate. I'm going to take that off of my teeth. Okay. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Are you ready? I'm go. ready. Go. Oh, go? Yeah. Go. Ah. Uh. Look at that. Oh, that I was got, brilliant. I got something. What, what'd you got? Um, oh, I think it's a marshmallow. I got, oh. What'd you get? I got a pickle. No, you didn't. Did you really get a uh, pickle? No, I think I got a marshmallow too. Oh, okay. It's actually pretty good. Um, I hope that there's another marshmallow oh, I, on him. Oh, you smell really good. I smell beef jerky. Beef jerky? Mm, yeah. Mm. What uh, is a cake? Uh, this is good. This ooh. is good cake. I think I licked the table. <laughs> Did it taste good? But no, it tasted like wood and stained. I don't think that's what's on the plate. Okay, I'll try again. All right, so I got that was a cake. Ooh, ooh, that okay. Uh huh. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Mm, it's chocolate. Oh, it's got something in the middle of it. I don't know what it was. I got a chocolate thing too. It's weird. Uh huh. I don't know if I like it. It's. I mean, it's chocolate, so uh, chocolate is good. Chocolate covered candy corn. I do not think that's what it is. I think these are all Christmas trees. Oh. All right. I think they are too. Oh, 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 I think I got something else. Oh. I can't get it though. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh. There's a candy cane. I got a chicken wing. <laughs> no, you did I got a buffalo chicken wing in my mouth. I, I have this feeling that we have the same things on our plate, so I don't think that we have them. You didn't get a buffalo chicken wing? No. You know what I didn't ask is how many things are on this plate. Oh. I want to keep the candy can out of and see if there's more. Okay. Mm. Just, that one tastes like cardboard. I think I'm done. I think I won. I think I won. I'm going to check. I'm taking it off. <laughs> uh, uh -oh. What are you doing? Stop. You should take off your thing now. Okay. I won. Try oh. to eat the last thing. It tastes like paper. Because that's your plate. Am I done? Uh-huh. Did I win? Oh! You did not win, because you'll have your candy cane still there. I had only a candy cane left? But mine, I have candy canes in my mouth. Oh, so you win? Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever. Well, all of that stuff was, was yummy. Wait a minute, did you really have a, a buffalo wing? I think there was a buffalo wing in there. I, I did not. So. I had a, a... I had the bones and everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's all gone. All I got left is a uh, candy cane. I had, I had a... Um, a chocolate thing? Mm. I don't know what that was. I had a cake. It was really good. I think the chocolate thing was a Hershey's Kiss. Oh, I think you're right. And it had some stuff in the middle. It was weird. I believe it was hot chocolate in the middle. Hot chocolate in the middle of a Hershey? Okay. I believe right. that's what it was. Okay. So. Marshmallow was good. Thanks for playing along with us. Yeah, it was fun. I had fun. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what? I hope our kids had fun. Um, who could not have fun tasting yummy treats like that? I know, I know, but you have to trust mm. that those treats are going to be tasty. That's Just like our kids here who played the game, they had to trust that we were going to give them tasty treats. Right. We had to trust that what, whoever put this stuff out here on the plate underneath the napkin yeah. 
was tasty and not was pickles. Tasty. Yeah. And not pickles and not wood. And not well. They oh, I was eating the plate. Yeah, I said that. That's what the That's problem what was. was. But I just love hanging out here on the set of the Jolly, Holly Jolly Kitchen. Uh huh. I just want to say Jolly first, but it's not. It's. I like to say Jolly Holly Kitchen. Jolly Holly sounds weird. Holly Jolly sounds good. It will sound. Good. Yeah. Jolly gingerbread sounds great. That doesn't sound good. It does sound really good. But I am so proud of our contestants for not being afraid and trying new things. Mm, that's right. So, speaking of new, yeah. I've got a new song that I'd like to try out this oh, morning. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, let me think. Jolly gingerbread! Don't do it. <laughs> oh. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> okay. Jolly gingerbread! Is it Jingle Bell? No, it's no. not Jingle Bell. Okay, everybody stand to your feet and let's get ready to sing. Awesome. Favorite Christmas songs? It is. Yeah. It, what are you doing? Why huh? is your blanket photo on? Oh, I thought we were playing again. No, we're not playing again. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. Hey, that's one of my favorite songs too. Is it? Yeah. It is. Really is. It always puts me in a Christmas spirit. Sometimes it makes me even say, fa la 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 la, Christmas spirit. I'm so proud of you. I know. <laughs> Jolly gingerbread, that made me happy. Yes. Hey, that's <laughs> What, your mood changed? I know. What's up? I think I think our time's up. What? Yeah. My time is up? Yeah, our time's up. I don't even feel sick. What? I feel perfectly healthy. Wait, do I have a fever? No. Here, check my head. Do no. I have a fever? I'm not touching you because you're weird. Get your amber off me. I, I have so much left to do. I can't. My time can't Jolly. be up. Jolly. It Get can't be up. Yourself. Jolly. Oh. What? Your 
your time's not up. Our time in the show is up. Just calm down. It's time for the episode to end. Ooh. <laughs> I get it. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Well, that was close. Jolly gingerbread. glad to that hear was... that. It was a little bit touch and go there for a minute. Touch Started to see a uh, light at the end of the tunnel, started to go that way. All the things that happened to me in second grade started to pass before my eyes, but I am gonna make it. And I'm excited because it's so close to Christmas. That was, I'm ready for it. You're a lot right now. God. You're here, I need you to be a little bit more here. Yeah, so. Okay. Wait, that's perfect, stay right there. Okay, how about you just stay right there and I pray for us. Okay. Okay, here we go. Bow your heads while I pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for um, today. Thank you so much for this fun episode, but especially thank you for showing us that those things in our life will make us scared. Like when Mary found out that she was going to have the Son of God, we also know that you're with us and that you can do absolutely anything and that we don't have to have fear in this life because we know that you are in control. Lord, I pray for each and every one of us as we move forward into the next week that we remember that though things may seem scary, you are with us and you always keep your promises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. We hope that you all enjoyed our show this morning. From all of us here at, at Jolly Holly, Holly no, Kitchen. Holly Jolly, Jolly Kitchen. Kitchen. Say it again. From all, all of us, us here, here at, at Holly Jolly Kitchen, I said it right. No, but you have to say it with me. Oh, from our Holly Jolly Kitchen to no. yours. So long. All right, bye. <laughs>